It's crazy. Like as soon as I start recording, the crickets, the crickets go crazy. Uh, it's what I get for recording at night. <laughs> it is what it is. What's going on, everybody? It's good to see you. Thank you all so much for being here. We have, yes, that's right, another album reaction for you guys. You guessed it. Today we're going to be listening to Evil Friends by Portugal the Man. It's from 2013. This was a specially requested album by Tepper. Tepper, thank you so much for your donation. I really appreciate you for supporting the channel and putting me onto some new music by a band that I'm not super familiar with. And I know that it's 10 years old, but it's new to me, and that's all that matters. 12 songs, 48 minutes. I feel like with some of these older albums, it's pretty standard for songs to be on the longer side. I don't know. Um, I like the cover art. I'm not super familiar with Portugal the Man. I think Tepper probably showed me two or three of their songs, maybe a little more, on uh, Friday's stream. And they didn't sound bad, so I, I still I couldn't get a huge read on them. I'm not exactly certain what I should be expecting with this, but uh, we'll see what we get once we jump into it. Before I say this, uh, before I jump into it though, I do have to say this. Uh, if you're watching this afterwards on YouTube, I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. But if you want to catch these videos early and ad-free, be sure to support me by following the channel on Twitch. You can watch these videos live as I record them, or you can support the channel on Patreon by subscribing to the boss tier, that's the $5 tier, uh, and you will get access to the videos the day that I record them as well. They get uploaded instantly to Patreon. Uh, and then I only drop them about a week or so later on YouTube, just because that's how I have to monetize my videos nowadays, since YouTube has claimed uh, or outright blocked almost every single video I've uploaded within the last like few months. Uh, so if you see ads on the YouTube videos, that's not me making any money off of that. That's just YouTube um, messing with me. <laughs> so uh, if you want to watch the videos, like I said, early and ad-free, just jump over to the Twitch or support the channel on Patreon. I'd really appreciate it with those plugs out of the way. It's good to see you, asshat. It's good to see you in the chat, man. Thanks for stopping by today. I didn't expect to see a, a whole bunch of people in the chat today because it is July 4th and I had totally forgotten about that since I live in Brazil. So... Um, yeah, happy July 4th to everybody as well. If you're watching this afterwards, uh, happy Independence Day to you as well if you're in uh, the US. And uh, let's, let's see what this music sounds like. So, Evil Friends, Portugal the Man, track one, Plastic Soldiers. Blair, did you say I'm looking extra zesty in the Discord? Everything carries weight. Everything ah, this is the one that he said I would love or hate. That's true. Within us all together. Is it? Everything carries weight. Maybe it is, I think. Everything is the same. And we are all together. Yeah, that was Asshat's request. That's the, tomorrow's album, not this one. I fuck with this though. Those of you that have been watching the channel for a minute know I fuck with acoustic guitar and um, these like folk vibes. There's something really raw about this. Sounds nice. This was Tepper's request, asshat. He also requested yesterday's project.
I like the bass here. I've tried that before, Blair. Uh, it doesn't really work. <laughs> the people that follow me on Instagram aren't really the people who watch the streams. It is what it is. It's really more so for friends who want to just stop by and say hi. I guess you could say so. At the very least, we're colleagues. This part right here feels very grand, very uh, fitting for an introduction. Really liking the horns here. for my construction days. That is a very, very nice intro, I think. It's super grand towards the end. It starts off with the really acoustic vibes that I, I like a lot. Uh, that sort of really slow um, folk energy just really speaks to me, so good stuff. That does make more sense, Blair. What's good, Richard? It's good to see you, dude. This is kind of funky. It's fun. I like this. Yeah, this is an album reaction. Evil Friends by Portugal the Man. I 
I really like everything about this. The chorus, the verses. Really cool instruments here. Really cool atmosphere to this. This is track two, Richard. We're moving on to track three now.
I love the chords this guitar is playing, but why is it panned to the right so hard? I'd love to hear this guitar really wide. The vocals are slightly panned to the left too to separate it from the guitar. I really fuck with this one. I take back everything I said. I fuck with the guitars on the right. Leave them there. <laughs> this is a playlist track. This one is an anthem. Nice strings here. This one is my favorite. This is a great song. Wow. These really filtered vocals always give me nostalgic vibes. I feel like if I heard this when it came out, I would have fucking loved this. This is exactly the type of vibe I was on when I was, when I was that, uh, how old was I? 15. Sixteen. 
Like, I really like it now, but it would have absolutely been some of my favorite stuff ever. As much as I really, really like this now, it just takes me back to 10 years ago. Back when Radioactive by Imagine Dragons was the song. <laughs> The 1975 had like just dropped chocolate, you know? I too hang with demons on the weekend. Wow, after you hell should be easier is crazy. God damn, this is sick. I'm loving the guitars and the bass lines throughout this project. Very anthemic again. The tides that take the sand. 
I'm a sonic man I'm the moon and the pole It's the time to take a sip I'm a sonic man This is very, very cool it's not as long as some of the other songs too, so that's also nice. Although the outro repeats, you know, six times, um, maybe that's just a little too much. <laughs> This. When we went back, nothing was there. It's how it's so tall and nearly left the ground. Still, when we looked, nothing was found. There was nothing out there, no, nothing at all. Nothing but brown All the things I want and the things I need When there's nothing but stars looking back at me I'll be brave, I'll be brave, I'll be brave When the time ain't goes around I'll be brave, yeah, I'll be brave Just let me go now Let me go now I like that we never get too much of just one vibe. This brings a little bit more of a calm energy, so that's that's very good. And the part of you that never came. You can leave it here in the sea of I'll be brave, I'll be brave, I'll be brave. When the time it comes around, I'll be brave, yeah, I'll be brave, just let me go now. This one is very nice. I feel like it was needed as sort of a breath of uh, fresh air. It just gives us a moment to have, you know, pause a little bit in between some energetic music, but I, I feel like this one slightly drags. Like, I would have much preferred it if this was maybe a two and a half minute interlude instead of almost four and a half minutes, you know?
This one already sounds kind of epic. Wow. I was not expecting that sort of a drop. That is great. Killer guitar riffs, dude. Yeah, this one is really, really good, dude. Probably top three. I was hypnotized by that track there towards the end. I really, really like that one.
This one's not bad. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Hell's the only thing in me is uh, an interesting line, though. It's sad, but it's relatable. I feel like the instrumentals are carrying this track. Of course, of course. See, for some reason, this one just sounds better to me than the last track. That's true, too. It's a very psychedelic sound to the guitar there. But time will be the only thing you'll say. Don't blame yourself, there's no religion inside them. What can't be learned is trained once you find the end, you start again. Just observe the lights that led the way. We're all just Yeah, this song, very, very nice. I didn't really need the hook again, I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is, we got it. That is true. 
I like the nostalgic feeling I get though. But it's definitely one of those albums where you just pick your favorites and come back to those. Like out of the 12 songs, you would pick maybe your six or seven favorites and those are the ones you would have in rotation, you know what I mean? Because some of them do sound like they're in pretty similar lanes. Yeah, this one's already interesting. It sounds the slightest bit different. Really big toms. Not even really toms, those are floor drums. Gives this track a really heavy feeling. I like it. This one's about the Wiggles. Purple, yellow, red, and blue. You're not fooling me. Very cool. I like the second to last track. Is the last one. Ooh. 
gorgeous guitars. This has everything that it needs right now to end up being my favorite. One of my favorites. The vocals are really selling me, but man, this instrumental is perfect. James Bond movie, yeah, absolutely. Yes. These horn riffs. I'm literally texting my sister right now about an, a band she used to listen to during the time period when this dropped. Because um, this is really reminding me of them. But I can't for the life of me remember what their name was. I think my main gripe is a lot of these songs drag out for too long without having anything new to offer in the last chorus. The song does a pretty good job though. Yeah, I think that that is uh, probably my main issue with this album, and I don't have many issues, but the main one is that some of these songs, they just repeat the chorus one too many times at the end, you know? And then the song starts to drag for however long the chorus goes on for, and that's normally what, 30, 40 seconds maybe? So 
Yeah, just but I mean that that also I think is. Uh, um, I think like the I think the time period. A lot of the songs were around this length. I think in this in this lane, um, they used to repeat the chorus a bunch of times. <clears throat> I used to I used to have more patience to sit down and listen to the songs all the way through even through all the way through the last chorus nowadays if i really like a song a lot of times i'll listen to the entire thing and during the last chorus i'll just skip you know to the next one um so maybe that's just me being more impatient as i grow older maybe yeah two minutes is is also just too short i i think i think 245 to three Three minutes thirty is like perfect. You know, you don't really need much more than that. Bridges, yeah, man. Bridges are fucking great. Surprise me overall, two out of ten. I, I really hope people have caught on to the two out of ten joke that Blurdy keeps putting in the chat. I hope they don't think she's serious when she says two out of ten. <laughs> but yeah, that really is my main issue with this. Honestly, uh, it it doesn't feel super dated. It actually just feels really nostalgic and brings me back to. You know, just being a teenager, and um, like I said, I was already living living in Brazil at the time, and um, my sister, she was uh, she was into at the time like the the neighborhood was on repeat, Paramore was on repeat, uh, the 1975 had just dropped their self titled album that was on repeat. She used to listen to a lot of um, uh, FM by Arctic Monkeys. You know, it's like that era, just being like 15. You know, it just, it brought me back to then, and I really, really like it. I have, uh, I have a few good memories from that time, and um, this just felt really nostalgic for me. There's uh, definitely some songs that are just a little too long, but for the most part, it really is just nice. To, it's like a time machine, you know? It just takes you back to 2013 when things were a little simpler, and uh, I had a lot of fun. I think Modern Jesus, uh, Smile, um, I think Waves are probably my top three. But overall, I'm sure there's, if I listen to this again, there's like five or six that I'm willing to, you know, add to a playlist and, and keep in rotation, honestly. Like, it really does not feel super old. And it's a decade old at this point. Um, and it's crazy to think 2013 was a decade ago, but here we are, you know. And we're already over halfway through 2023, which is crazy too. But yeah, um, you know, I, I, I mentioned before we started the video, it was kind of a long day. And so I, I feel a little a little lower energy than I normally do, but I'm happy with the way that this this one turned out, and uh, it kind of did lift my spirits a little bit. I got some really you know interesting surprises on this. Um, 2003 was two decades ago. Yeah, crazy. It's insane. Um, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by some of these tracks. Some really cinematic and epic choruses. Uh, instrumentals go super hard the, some of the the effects that they put on the vocals and the filters they put on the instruments like it just gives us such a cool like nostalgic vintage sort of a sort of a feeling it's just it's, it, it warmed my heart a little bit to listen to this one so I, I had a lot of fun with it personally maybe 2013 wasn't a super great time period for you and you don't want to go back then to that time period so you know I don't know but for me personally I had a lot of fun listening to this I appreciate Tepper for putting me onto this and uh, and sending this one in. Um, yeah, man. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I, I got my plugs out of the way at the start of the video. So if you're stuck around until now, I really appreciate you. I assume you've enjoyed the video if you've been here for this long. So don't forget to drop a, a like and, uh, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So I will see you guys later. Everyone stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Until next time. Peace out.